So this is from Helga uh, Pure Karen. Um, per Karen, per Karen. And, and she writes, I take vaginal progesterone about two weeks. Um, it was horrible orally. I know oral probably should give more benefits, but I just can't. I tried over and over to be sure um, that the progesterone was making her feel that way. And um, I'm testing most of the times different ways. I tried it on my tongue. That was the worst um, sleepy in 10 minutes, but during the night, it was awful. Many wake-ups, unbelievable nightmares in uh, all my real fears in life became my dreams. Um, underneath that, you see a few more people chimed in. They have a similar response. Switching to vaginal really helped these people. Um, you know, when you take progesterone in orally, it's, it's, it has a higher rate of conversion to allopregnenolone. And in the episodes I mentioned, some women have an opposite response to allopregnenolone. There's a couple of different reasons for that. Sometimes it's just that the allopregnenolone should be in a tight window. And when you do it orally, you're going to have way more than normally present. So you kind of have a reverse response. It's not the fact that your body responds to allopregnenolone wrong, meaning if the allopregnenolone is in the normal range, you know, and, and we give it to you, if it goes way above that, that could be a problem. So, so taking it orally, that's possible. Um, other cases with people is that there's something going on with their allopregnenolone. The receptors in the brain don't really respond to it really correctly. There's some, some issues around that, and, and that is a concern. Um, but no matter what, when you take in oral progesterone of any kind, you have that bump up in allopreg, and that's going to cause that side effect. Transvaginal is good. Um, also, a rectal suppository uh, is another. It's actually better. If you're sexually active, I recommend doing a rectal suppository instead. Um, we don't have a ton of research on the impact of topical progesterone to a man's penis, but it is a worthwhile thing to be considering because you don't want to spread hormones on other people. So transrectal would be a better option, I believe. With that said, still, um, it's, 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 you get transvaginal and, and or transrectal, you're going to have the same benefit to protect the line of the uterus. You're gonna have the same benefit to protecting breast tissue. You have that same anti-estrogen effect. So that is not a bad route and that does work. So I hope that's helpful.